and we're live. Oh my gosh. I will. Can you believe it? I didn't, I didn't swap out the week one graphic fast enough. That That's was, okay. That was 100% my fault. That's all right. We're, we improvised. I, I feel terrible. I feel, I feel like a bad person. <laughs> what? You got it? Paddle hacks? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're, we're not... We're not making jingles for no reason. <laughs> I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I might be a little on the high side. <laughs> Luckily, these guys are still getting ready to start their warm-up here from Exmoor Country Club. So we uh, we can we, yeah we can adjust as we go on the fly. Yeah yeah yeah. No no I'm I'm fine here. I just was concerned that I was clipping on the roadcast. You're fine. We're gonna saturate. Oh I'm bit. fine. Yes you are. Thank you. What do I owe you? No. What are you doing later? Is the is the line? We want to make sure. <laughs> Amazing. Exactly. Well everybody, welcome to the live stream. Yes. We are here at Exmoor Country Club for a Series 6 match. Exmoor is at home, and they are hosting Michigan Shores, yes. which I'm pretty sure um, Michigan Shores uh, travels Sorry. well, and That's they often shore. wear the exact same outfit, Yes, uh, which is always fun to see. Are they the Shores, by the way? I don't know. The Breeze? Yeah, they call them the Breeze. The Breeze. The, the Cerulean Breeze, the Sean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, as we as we check out all the angles of the court here to see the the mighty fine setup job that Cal Noble has done, oh beautiful! We should uh, we should talk a little paddle. We should. I don't know what to say about paddle. I mean, I have a variety of I have a, ri a variety of loaded topics what and conversations can we can get paddle, into. Matt, I just didn't think people should be you know waiting any longer for uh, the stream to start. So that was. Oh, so they're not out there. No, they're not out there. We're just we're we're watching uh, warm ups peripherally. Like if you like the edges of the camera where it starts to fish eye and get a little curvy, that's where we're able to see all the warm ups happening around court number two. My, my, my elementary school reading teacher would call that the Emperor's New Players. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimately, I blame myself for this particular element because I, I'm pretty sure that uh, um, I threw everyone off by asking them to spell their names. You know, then that is, you know what, that that's that's the classic off-putting remark. Yeah, is to ask you to spell your name. Yep, yeah, no, I I screwed it up. That was totally my fault, and I bl I blame myself. Did you know that the uh, APTA uh, national tournaments put the scoreboard in the lower left-hand corner of the screen? Are we are we infringing on a patent? Is that what you're? Uh, no, about? no, no patent involvement. At least not yet. We'll see how it goes uh, after our tournament, but. Um, but th they uh, did inform me that that's usually where they put it, and I was like, "Ah, oh, that's fine. I can I can totally do that." Yeah, so that's, that's not bad. You know, I can also mess around with it on the fly. So if it really gets in the way of that baseline camera angle, I'm going to move it. You that's know, fine. If, if I I noticed if I get broadcast, which really very rarely is ever going to happen, probably never again actually at this point. But <laughs> what happens? I'm just saying. What happens is they put that over my face while I'm. Uh, <laughs> if you end up on if you end up on camera, they just go the ahead. Face and, for radio. Yeah, no, that's that's usually where I like to sit as well. I have a face and voice for radio. <laughs> that was just an interesting segue. I'm sorry. Uh, Matt McClure, master of segues. That's what I've always been known for, Sean. What are you most known for? I can't see on the air. You probably shouldn't. That's probably. Yeah. I that's probably a fair assessment. Yeah. Well, Chicago Paddle has been going Moon quite well thus far, and the way that I determine how Chicago Paddle is going is, have we had any weather cancellations? And I don't think that we, we have. No, we haven't. I don't think that we have, so I'm pretty stoked uh, for the start of this season. It's a little chilly tonight, to be perfectly honest. Uh, Cal's uh, lips turned blue while he was putting up the cameras. But that's not <laughs> that's actually, a, no, no, that's no, no. not a temperature thing. That's just because Cal only weighs 48 pounds. It's that and it's a new shade that he's wearing. <laughs> Are you, Cal, good for you. <laughs> I like it that you're trying stuff out. He stole that from me. That's so pretty, uh, I'm pretty uh, amazing. I like, I'm, I'm, I'm a, oh, here we go. Yeah, we got some players entering the court, getting ready. This is definitely uh, Team Lambropolis from here at Exmoor. So uh, Bill Lambropolis is in the... Uh, uh, gray uh, hoodie and the black pants, and he is the son of the father-son duo that is playing tonight. Him and his dad, George Lambropoulos. George getting real aggressive with the shorts. You know, um, so that is an impressive, uh, assertive uh, move for the first match. 
from what I understand, of the year of, for these two to play Yeah, together. totally agree. Haven't played together yet this year, um, possibly because uh, Bill has put a limiter on um, on the number of matches he's willing to play uh, with his father, um, as I would with my father as well. Got it. Much better. Is that me on that side? No, yeah, that that's was you. Better. Oh, that was my fault. That was, that was, that's okay. Yeah, it's, it was just on the actual YouTube, it was clipping. I was, I was booming people out. I'm catching a little bit at the top. Okay. I, I'm going to quiet myself down. No, 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 don't do that. No, I should I'll just... I'll just put a poker brush on you. because I should, the roadcaster don't, don't. signal is boost in OBS, so you're fine. It's, it's on oh, is OBS that right? Side. Yeah, so I think maybe just... <clears throat> Our you know what's great is when George uh, when George stretches, it looks like our stream froze. <laughs> <laughs> he just locks he just locks into that one he just locks into that one position perfectly. And we tell people not to hit high backhands, but you get them all out in the warm up. It's okay. Yeah, no, that's totally you know, fine. When, when you're coaching, you well, let's leave that one. Maybe mention our sponsor. It's a great ah, idea. Great idea. We, Illinois, we have more than one now. Illinois Bone and Joint. I have a fun uh, true story. With Illinois, Illinois Bone and Joint. Pray tell. Yeah, well, uh, my son Eli is playing his first year of tackle football. And during no the second way. practice, he got uh, knocked around a little bit. And uh, his shoulder was bugging him. And so I immediately said to myself, well, how could I possibly work this to our favor in terms of the CPTC live stream? And I thought, why not go? <laughs> it's the first thing on my mind. To Illinois Bone and Joint. Yeah, when I think of family, I think of how does this benefit the CPTC, uh, our, the CPTC and, and the business in which they, <laughs> of course, extend into. So um, so what I did was I took him to Illinois Bone and Joint, and he was able to uh, get x-rays right there on the spot and uh, immediately uh, do his first uh, session of physical therapy in which they, like, heated everything up and stretched him out and did a whole nice. thing. and. He's too young to tear a rotator cuff, but he bruised it. Ah. And so he was out for the first 10 days of the football season, just the way he wanted uh, to, st to start his season. And uh, then he just got an offer from the Falcons. So he's uh, <laughs> that's how good Illinois Bone and Joint is. Listen, Eli is 12, so could he play for the Falcons? Yes. <laughs> yes, he could. Uh, possibly for the Detroit Lions as well, uh, just, based on, just based on results. Sorry, Detroit fans. Just got to make sure. I mean, I'm a Lions fan. Yeah, all right. I have a testament to IBJ. J.I., yeah. when I was playing tackle football, I, like, really damaged my Achilles, and I ignored it, and it got worse. <laughs> and I had to stop playing. <laughs> and it got worse, and so you stopped playing football. And I still never went to the doctor. Yeah, and then you should have gone oh, to Illinois Bone and Joint. And yeah. I went later in life, and it turns out I had, like, 100% that's what you should have done, Cal. Or Hundo P, as the kids say oh, like these that, days. Matt. Well, you know what they say about uh, muscles you ignore that are damaged? They're like teeth. Ignore them. They'll go away. Don't worry. <laughs> so. I'm pretty sure that's where use it or lose it becomes pretty so much. apropos. Uh, so over here for Michigan Shores, on the uh, right side uh, closest to uh, us, we have uh, Andy uh, Ofram, I think. Is it, am I pronouncing Offman. it? Offman. Offman? You yes. nailed it. O Oframi? Uh, <laughs> the Michigan Shore Breeze. The Michigan Shore Breeze. And uh, and over there uh, on the other side here is uh, Steve Fortier. I'm, I think I'm pronouncing that one correctly uh, because the the part of me that's not French wants to say Fortier. Fort Fortier, yeah. So, um, yeah, so I think that's relatively close. Although I didn't have the chance to introduce myself to these guys uh, no, before they jumped on the court. No, I do that. We're flying by the seat of our pants here uh, to get these matches started. Exactly. Obviously. What else is new? The Exmoor Curlers. The, <laughs> the Exmoor Curlers, that's right. I forgot, Exmoor has curling. Are there any other clubs that still have curling on the North Shore? I think there's, they, there's a league. Oh, there's in, a league that they in play Wisconsin in. Wisconsin, for sure, I know. There's that's one. amazing. By the way, when they say, we say curling, we mean the sport and not the things that the women put in your hair, or even men, for that matter. Oh, uh, curlers? They, yeah, curlers, yes. yeah, because we don't mean it that way. Although that would be an uh, interesting uh, mascot. That wasn't yeah. uh, something that I was going to pull a reference on. All right, I well, I just, I just thought I would, for those of you who are Curlers older like me, the older generation, thinking, you know. I, I, can't, I can't remember the last time I saw a set of curlers, probably at my grandmother's house in well, 1997. Well, I, that was the last. I, I, I don't wear them much. Uh, <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> just the hairnet. <laughs> no, uh, just the hairnet. So this is going to be a particularly enter entertaining match. I really love it when a father-son combo 
gets to play it together cool. for it's a variety cool. of reasons. It's One cool. is because it could absolutely go off the rails. <laughs> like, like this could go really badly really quickly if it's anything like when I used to play with my father. Absolutely. Um, in which case, either everything was fine and we were joking around, or he was like, what is the matter with you? <laughs> um, then he was right on both counts. You know, whether, whether he was super positive or super negative, he was probably right. Um, because there was this one time that I mowed the yard, but I didn't mow behind the shed because no one could see it. And that's something I only learned later in life, uh, that you should always mow behind the shed. Pretty much when I had kids of my own. I think that's words to live by, Coach Matt, right there. And, the and motto I, of tonight's match is always mow behind the shed. I've been mowing behind the shed ever since. So... Uh, well, you know, it's one of those moments. It's not your house, and so you just are no. kind of like, whatever. I'm trying to get this done as exactly. quickly as possible. And then your father is like, do it right or don't do it at all. And I was like, are you <laughs> offering for me to not mow the yard anymore? Because I'm okay with it. Yeah, well, <clears throat> you know, you, you can blame yourself for that, uh, Coach Matt, but i got to tell you something. My dad would say certain inspirational uh, phrases. Everybody say goodnight say, to Mike goodnight Raleigh, to who's Mike, our host. been on court for 19 hours in a row today. So <laughs> way to grind it out, Coach Mike. We'll Go see you next him, time. Buddy. Mike is going to do some announcing for us at the uh, Medina Cup yeah, we can get uh, his coming up next weekend. Yeah. We'll get him, get him I, going. Can't, I can't ever contact his representation because they don't call me back. Yeah. Um, they say that my, my dollar value offer is too low. And it is. Because I'm usually, I'm usually like, Mike, can I borrow $5? <laughs> Well, we don't have to necessarily pay it back that way. Right. Uh, no, I was going to say is uh, I'm back to I'm, I'm trying to segue back to the uh, the father story, but I guess it's not really going to work, so we, we can just move on. No, you should do it. <laughs> you should absolutely do we it. We could. No, I was going to say. Cause uh, I went into my whole, you know, story about mowing the yard, which was not in any way related to racket sports. How about yours? Mine was, uh, I, I tell you what, I, I used to get this from my dad, which was the, uh, uh, listen, uh, and we were really young at the time. Mm -hmm. and, and he had got our attention and just said, listen to me. You know, we took you to Disney World. Did I tell you this story already? No. We took you to Disney World, and we went to Adventureland, and we went to Frontierland, right? We went to Space Mountain. We went to Fantasyland, okay? Guess what? You know what? We don't live in Fantasyland, okay? <laughs> this, we don't live there. We go and visit there. Jonathan, Sean, Aaron, Noah, you understand that? Okay? So we don't, yeah. So that, that was that was mine. That, that and I remember uh, when I was mowing the lawn, I remember hearing in the backyard because I was working without a shirt, but he, he couldn't see it. He was like this, the man's naked. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> just, just in the, I wasn't. Just in I just had no shirt on. It, it, that wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was someone else. It wasn't me. Dad, I, I promise. I swear to God. That was your other son. <laughs> the better looking one. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, so a pretty uh, classic warm-up here, not to segue back to the match here. I mean, not to, not to talk too much about paddle before the paddle starts, but I think that uh, it's important to remind everyone, I like to say once a season how important it is to win the warm-up. Uh, oh, yeah. Which doesn't mean what people think it means. Like, it's not about bringing out your best shots. It's that you gather as much information about your opponent as possible. Yes. And move the ball around very intentionally to figure out what they're going to do. Absolutely. And you need to be aware of are they going to hit a bunch of forehand volleys when you put the ball on their right hip, or are they going to hit every overhead way too hard because that's their that's their you know kind of natural response? Sure. Or you know, are, are, uh, or are they wearing a nice pair of slacks? You know, <laughs> because if they're not, uh, if they're a low quality pair of slacks, you can't move as well. What is know? that espatrin? So, <laughs> <laughs> so you definitely you definitely drop shot the guy who's not wearing nice slacks. Duh, no question about it. Uh, in this weather, by the way, Coach, it's, even though it's technically warm for paddle, uh, we're still going to get, since it's starting to chill out a little bit, we're going to get a few more um, opportunities for maybe drop shots, maybe hit yeah, the ball I'm, short. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, that gets reintroduced as uh, part of the game uh, here. I know it's tough at the beginning of the season when you're playing warm weather paddle to, to make sure that you know that's actually happening but it is currently uh, degrees. 45 degrees Fahrenheit. according to our uh, weather report from from a young uh, Cal Ulysses Noble um, that's your middle name right okay great I got it right the first try <laughs> had no idea um, but yeah when the, you know they have the temperature drop you got to start to add in some shots uh, that you might not be nice using pun. at the first three weeks of the season <laughs> <laughs> sorry I just, I hear it, 
I say yep. it. Yep. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta call it. You yep. gotta call it when you hear it. Absolutely. Well, <clears throat> the other thing is we got a lefty-righty uh, team also. Looks as though we do anyway. And so we're gonna look, or do we? Ooh, maybe not. No, we don't. No, maybe don't. that was so, so maybe that was just a little uh, the warm up. Yeah, okay. Maybe that so was just a little think? shift there. Okay, never mind. Take it back. I thought we had a little. It was just it was just the person warming up Andy Hoffman that had. That was I've uh, yeah, I think I think you're right, and I've uh, actually had a few players uh, that I have played with on teams that had a weird kind of ambidextrous thing going. Yes. Where they would, you know, serve lefty but play righty and some of that kind of stuff. It was particularly valuable. It was just enough to throw people off rhythm. Well, there is a point. There's a point sometimes where you're better off if you got to dig a ball if you're right-hander. Dig oh, a ball yeah. out of the corner. Um, if it's getting behind you, you're almost better off going to the left hand and actually kind of cupping the racket and maybe flipping mm -hmm. it back over your, your right shoulder. Mm -hmm. you know, so, anyway. For sure. Yeah, that's that's absolutely one of those one of those skill sets in the world of paddle that you have to have. You know, I always felt was particularly good at that was a young Paget Neve. Oh yeah, his him and his him and his you know growing up playing hockey, he always felt like he had his backhand was better than his forehand. And it was. And I coached the kid. Yeah, he's still yeah. particularly good at like if he gets in serious trouble to use his left hand and to just it's you know amazing. to hit yeah. shots and make things happen. Yeah, a jerk. <laughs> Uh, prayers go out to Skokie, who are having a little trouble with their sewer uh, at the hut. Uh, sounds like it's going to be uh, a little bit of an issue through Thanksgiving. So, you know, we're going we're gonna to really be thinking of them, yes. not just because of the way the hut must smell. Exactly. Um, but also because, uh, you know, Paget's not helping the situation. My guess is it was a sea creature. <laughs> I, there's a, it it is was a just waterlogged, a, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, there's was, a marshland right I, behind I was saying Skokie before, Paddle I was watching so. too many X -File, uh, X Files episodes. Yep. Uh, uh, re, re, yeah, reruns, so sorry about that. But yeah, so th this will be kind of a, I don't know, mid level. We're talking 45 degrees. Not a lot of wind, by the way. What a beautiful club this is. Did I no, mention pretty, that? Yeah, pretty comfortable out there today, I think. Real. Uh, Real, real, real solid in terms of uh, comfort level. I think it's going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, quick mic adjustment there. Quick camera adjustment here. I think we're ready to go. Yeah, me too. I don't, I don't know about you, but uh, who seemed to have this won the like spin? We're fired here. up. You know, this is one of those matches where you really appreciate in the world of Chicago Paddle that they tried to start the leagues at 6.30 this year instead of 7 p.m. Because just think that if it was a 7 p.m. match, how we would have started at, you know, 7.40. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. One, it gets colder. Two, it gets colder. <laughs> and uh, three, I like to use one and two for the temperature. And then no, three, I three it just I gets agree. later is another thing. <laughs> it does get later. You know, yeah. there, there's no... Uh, yeah. The there's best part about Chicago is how time works. Yes. <laughs> Or how it doesn't work. It's though. different than other places. Exactly. All right, so there's a strategy session going yeah, on here. For a sure. congressional here. Uh, meeting going Between, on. Between uh, Steve and Andy. Uh, Bill and George, the Lombropoli, uh, do not need to have a strategy session because they've uh, played together for um, Bill's entire life. <laughs> Bill's right. also the captain I, here. I just at like the, the scientific uh, the, explanation. Of the Exmoor Series 6 team. So, Is he really? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to have. It's nice to have uh, you know the captains be represented, which is really a full-time job. So you always, always gotta do what you can to support your captains because the amount of garbage emails that they get about I don't want to play with this guy, I want to play with that guy <laughs> is just obnoxious. And so do if I they're willing like to do it and volunteer that time, only on weekends. Um, and and so if they're willing to do it, I mean you really gotta you really gotta do what you can to help. No question. Help out the captains. You know, as uh, somebody was asking me, you know, how do you get to be a captain? And all I told them was, well, you, you pretty <laughs> you much you get the, the best. Drop. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, I tried to be diplomatic and say the best-looking guy, pretty much. You know, you right. Get, but, but yeah, it's pretty much a short straw. You know, right. best best-looking guy. That's the, between the two of those. And uh, all right, well, here we go. Point number one. And we're already playing. Yeah, I already, I already like. Pretty conservatively. I already like what's happening here. We're putting a little bit of junk on the overhead. We're not doing anything super crazy. 
And it is flying a little bit. I mean, it seems that way to me anyway. I mean, cause of course, it's still only 45 degrees. So. Yeah, so I think it's interesting, too, when it's like 45, it, it does take the ball a little while to actually cool down. Yes. Like, it's not the same as when it's 12, you know, where you go out there and after one game you're like, it's this a thing's rock. a brick. Yeah. Like, it's uh, no question. All right, so just along with the lob there, first point to the Lombropoli. And I think that's pretty telling for the way this match is going to turn out. So I'm, uh, they won the first point. I'm assuming they're going to win the whole match. <laughs> now up love 30. We don't have the well, Las Vegas. Well, great stream, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Good night, uh, everyone. Let's go ahead and call it. After 90 seconds of battle, we already know what's going to happen. Sooner or later, and maybe this is true and maybe it isn't, but I'm going to promise it anyway, we may have a uh, Las Vegas line going, you know, with the, <laughs> the odds uh, in the corner for those of you who want to get on FanDuel. And... Uh, <laughs> Is that legal? <laughs> are we allowed? Are we allowed to put? I think, are we allowed to put I, local I would, sports? I wouldn't think it is. I wouldn't. Why not? I don't know. That's tough. Nice to get. I would think that FanDuel that would have a problem shot. with any sport where you have to call your own lines. That's just me. <laughs> that's a good point. That's a good point. No pun intended, huh? That's a good point. So <laughs> that's a great point. Forty fifteen. That's a nice roller. See if Hoffman and 48 can get back into this. Not that I'm rooting. There we go. Well, I just jinxed him right there. Yeah, but I am liking the left hand on that uh, lob there coming from Steve out of the ad side. Yep. Always a pleasure to see. So relatively quick first game, which is, you know, pretty typical at the beginning. You're going to see a few no games right at the really. beginning that are going to go a little fast, feeling each other out. Somebody's celebrating a birthday here at the Exmoor Hut. Are they? Yeah. Somebody's being sung to? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know who it is yet, but I'm going to find out and find some cake. That's right. Yeah, just a little deep. Great uh, low-dipping return nice there block. from George on the deuce side. Yeah, not easy to do. Blocking it and keeping it low that way. Try the two-hander. I like, the, I like uh, the backhand, by the way, from Bill. He's going to find his groove as soon as he starts going forward. When he pops off the deck, it's a little late. but Stylish, but probably not as let's effective. Let's see if he can find his drill momentum. Here we go. Smart. One of the best things you can do for your partner after you blow a return early is to just put the ball in play. Sure. They just you know, decided, I'm going to throw a lob up. I'm not going to give away a free return on right. this ball. We don't want to miss two in a row. This is good pressure here, yeah. George finding ways to drive in transition, just kind of, kind of lacing a ball in there with some, you know, nice smooth speed. Fifteen forty, a big point opportunity. Seasoned veteran taught Bill everything he knows. It's pretty good dig there. Yep. I know it's shocking, but we don't actually work here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're at the front desk uh, broadcasting, so it, we're going to be do doing double duty here. Just so you know. We're going to have to pass out game balls and sell sweatshirts. Yes, and be nice to people on the phone. In that order. <laughs> I don't have that ability, so that's going to have to be Cal. Cal's going to have to, yeah. Sorry, Cal, nice if you pick. can answer the phone from now on. Look at this. Look at this. Exmoor Country Club. What the hell do you want? <laughs> you got it. Hey, Sully. Yeah, so we're going to be uh, greeting people on a regular basis. I like this. This is actually a good spot for us to be running the live stream from. We're tucked away enough where nothing is you know, really going to bother us, no. but we get to watch everybody as they come in and out. No question. We can it. ask them how dinner was. <laughs> Please, uh, when you get the when you get the follow-up uh, text from the app, five stars uh, for your server. <laughs> really helps us out. 30-15. Cal gets to stare at the mannequins. 30-15, uh, Lombropoli. Ooh! Oh! oh and he up. makes it work with awesome. the net dribbler. 30 all. That's one of my favorite shots in paddle, by the way. The net dribbler? 
Yeah. Yeah, anytime you can anytime you can hit the net dribbler it's just it just destroys you know people's will to live. Yeah. <laughs> if you can do it on a big point, you know, true. like a game point. Okay, that's going to happen every so often because You know what? Don't be even honest, sweat it, Bill. I've done that before. Just even but you know what that's going to happen every so often. You if you got to look up too many times, mm -hmm. you got to get used to where the lights are. Yep. Not that you don't if you don't play here on a regular basis and I'll talk nice about return. home really court advantage smooth. and here we go back All on right. the board here for Fortier or Fortier and Offman. So a nice return. Uh, Steve and Andy. To I like that. So on the board here and uh, having the ability to pull even. An important break. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to get warmed up. No pun intended, huh? <laughs> I do think, that, honestly, that that's one of the toughest parts of of paddle, like in general, is is starting strong. Yes. And I would always uh, tell players that if you have the chance to show up early and hit some balls and do your warm up first, and then maybe even play a couple games yes. or play a couple points. Yep. Uh, before you get going, I mean, it's just it's just really difficult to start. You know, playing a match the way that you're going to for the rest of no the, question. the evening. No question, Matt. Great point. You know, the other thing is what a great uh, dig. That can be a scoop. It yeah. nice. Well, the other thing is, if you play at a uh, not a home club because you're already kind of used to those courts, but if you play at a, yes. at a neighboring club or you're playing at somebody else's club, you got to get used to the lights yeah. where they are. Yeah, every, the, not the every court lights, is the same. The lights and the screens. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. that's another one where you know courts that get tons of play, you know, might have a little bit looser screens. Absolutely. Occasionally, you'll run into a club where maybe there's a different kind of coating on the screen. It, you know, the ball behaves slightly differently. So, I mean, those those little things do matter. They do. What is the definition of home court advantage? <laughs> Does anyone know? <laughs> is that has it ever come up on stream before? <laughs> Well, I mean, it probably would class. You could classify, uh, you know, getting a home court bounce as home court advantage. I think we could just, I could tell you, you know what? Let's just, uh, a la Ted Lasso. Let's let's define it as the Supreme Court did uh, pornography. I, I'm not sure what it is, but I know what it is <laughs> when I, I see know it. it. When I see when it. I see it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's home court case. advantage. <laughs> exactly. I just, you know, I, that's the best way to define it. I think. Uh, well, you know, I know it when I see it. So after a, a very successful game, uh, Fortier and, and Offman are back in a hole here. Let's see if they can dig themselves out here. Now oh, there's communication Great issue. What a catch Oh, uh, yeah, really good play there from George to identify that they were in trouble and just get up to the net to take time away. I'll tell you what, that Belleville bash over the shoulder like that, he deserved better. But uh, <laughs> now they're down. I know. <laughs> I'm using a Jimmy Connors reference on a power match. What's the matter with me? Get him off the air. Look at I love that return. It's like Gumby oh, Pokey. That's a tough. That's a tough swing there. It's uh. You start getting that little side to side action going. You, you'd be better off, you know, in a lot of these situations. You Stay know, on one changing side. Changing direction after one more shot, right? Just yes. waiting. There's a, our first drop shot that we've seen maybe the whole season. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Of course, it was tailor made, but it still qualifies. October 13th. Yeah. That's a good lob. He's back. There's some height. There's some height on the lob right there. There you go. I go, I go, I go. There we go. It's a little bit better communication. Yep. Nice pickup. Not an easy shot, and he turns it into something. Great possibly. move. Good transition. That was a great transition. Yep. And the smart, sneaky shot. To always go soft into the side screen when somebody's in transition because it's, it's so actually. hard to be. I think he's calling it 5:30. Hopefully he uh, figures that out. But let's see what happens. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. He always helpful. There you go, Bill. To be able to name the points, even if they're erroneous, <laughs> even if you're wrong, if you can name them and seem convincing. It That's works true. out. All right, 40:15, Lambropolis. Squared. Forty fifteen Lombropoli. Here we 
go. I keep saying that as though that's the actual plural for their last name. I'm just having flashbacks for, for a biology class in high school, and I just giving me the agita. He Help. bought it. That might have been flying. Yeah. I think that did. But when you, that's why that's part of the reason that when you're driving the ball, you need to make sure you're taking some time away and stepping inside the court a little bit because it also gives players less time to make a decision. Absolutely. So you're gonna get you're gonna get people to pull the trigger on a lot more volleys instead of just letting the ball sail along if you're hitting it from from physically closer to them because they feel like they have to make a quick call. Sure. Makes a difference in. As we like to say, what's the ratio, Coach Matt? Especially, what are we, Series 6 here? Am I getting ratioed right now? No, I'm just going to get a ratio. Just <laughs> how many drives out of 10, <laughs> how many drives out of 10 need to hit the court, and how many of them just uh, pretty much are designed? I, it's not as many as you think. I'm going to say I'm going to say 6 or 7 six out of 10. 7 out of 10. In terms of, like, by design, you'd be surprised that the number of drives actually have to go in play. If exactly. you're picking your target well and, you know, forcing somebody to hit a volley, it's, there's no point in trying to hit every drive inside the court. Right. It also takes away a tremendous amount of, like, power. Sure. Right? Like, you're never going to hit a ball. If you had to hit 100% of your drives in the court, How you, hard would, you would hit it hit so much softer yep. than everybody does. But if you get close to somebody and you put the ball on them quickly and you're trying to draw an error, yep. which ultimately is the goal in a lot of paddle situations, you're not. it's not about putting the ball in the court. It's about making someone volley. Then, you know, you have freedom to do a little extra with power, Absolutely. spin, that kind of stuff. All right, so 14 here on, so it's, we're up 40, and it might be 40. Ooh, so there, that is there, a, what a pick. That's a nice shot. Was it deep? I don't know. I couldn't. I couldn't see okay, the Okay, so that was call. 40 low. Okay. That was 40 right, low. Yeah, so, so that's game. So they are back back in it here. Four two. No, there we go. Yep. Four serving two. Bill with the serve. Tough to back up and let a ball bounce on your backhand side. Very. To play shots like that. That's where that lefty comes in. Well, I'm not saying it's a perfect solution, but... No, I, I agree. It might help. Nice pick. Get wide. Just right. a little Thought that wide. was going to possibly catch the line. See some switching here from Team Lombropolis for Bill to be able to hit more of the overheads from the middle. Puts a little more spin on it. Sure. George doing his job and hopefully only hitting balls over his right shoulder. Staying away from the high backhand volley. Oh, just my set spoke up too to soon. Go to Sorry, George, side. my yeah, fault. Paid there off there, though. How, did he, how do you do that? Close enough to the net, I think, to He's get He's just going to do it more now. <laughs> 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 I mean... It's, it's ill-advised, but it worked, so he'll just do it more. The ill-advised, <laughs> successful shot. By the way, I have a little bit of an Irish uh, little accent on that phrase when I say it because a, uh, a guy that, uh, that used to do uh, a lot of uh, contracting work, mm -hmm. uh, um, he was he was giving me a, a quote for something, and he, he's Irish, John O'Toole, which, by the way, what, what, what better name for a contractor than No, John that's O'Toole. pretty perfect. Yeah, he's an awesome, awesome guy, awesome contractor. But he tried to tell me why something was going to cost, uh, it was going to be more of a cost than he thought, and he was going to give me this big explanation. He just said, it's just going to cost more. <laughs> I mean, I thought he was going to give me this whole rundown, but no. Well, it's just going to cost more. So, when, so anytime I hear that, I I'm like just going to do it more. Here's our first defensively minded point. Yeah, here. really solid uh, movement here from both teams in terms of decision making and shifting around the court. So George and Bill have switched at least once because of a really good lob. And Steve and Andy have kept it together and not overplayed 
their opportunities. It's not like they're forcing a drive to happen just because they're they're seeing a little bit of uh, extra movement at the net. So exactly. This I is mean, this is the this is the point here. This is where everybody kind of settles in. And I mean, as stylish as it is, sometimes to just drive the ball inadvert, you know, where they go. an improvisational, impromptu way, you're probably better off having an idea. Yep. That was a really nice dig. Yep. What a oh, volley. Oh, great Good hands, hands to come up with that. Well, that, you know, that's a nice that's a nice gesture, yeah, right? Yeah, that's a given, really well played uh, Giving really your, well your point. opponent five for that, you got to give it to him. That's Somebody's unhappy with it, though. <laughs> 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 I think the birthday party is uh, starting to wind down. Well, I'm never happy with my birthday. Ooh. Great return. Little uh, little slip on the return uh, there from Andy, but it all worked out fine apparently. So we go 40-30 here now. If that's the kind of return you can hit when you're falling over, I should I should definitely lose my footing more. He's just often. gonna do it more. <laughs> He's just gonna do it more. <laughs> I just keep. It's just gonna cost me. <laughs> Can't say. Oh, well, we'll take your time. Nice here. pick. That's a really good no, attack I, overhead I, there. No, I, I don't share. Is to, the problem. To yes, bait the, problem. the overhead, so Bill and George go up five two here in the first set. Also, is it interesting how this camera is shifting in the wind? That is impressive. <laughs> it's it's kind of like a Batman. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna fix that. The old Batman between, series. We're gonna fix that in between sets. Of the old Batman. You know what? I, you know what I realized, uh, Cal? You a said smosh. believe. You know, yeah, you're allowed to believe is, anything you want. But what I'm saying is, when you say share, that was her big hit, you know, at least recently. Right. Was that, was the, you know. So it was weird that you put it that way. Oh, oh there's another let cord dribbler. For the same team, I would imagine, though. No. Causing a very slight problem. I like the pressure. Oh, okay. can he make it, it work? He did. He did. Get some hands there. It's not an easy shot to pull off. Just smart. a little miscommunication there. That's really smart, though. I mean, to just like take the net and then just see if you can keep the ball low and slow for a sure. few shots without doing anything. Absolutely crazy. Matter of fact, two in a row, one in the corner There's and one in the little, middle. There's another little let court action. But it's like the way uh, Lembropoulos softed it to the corner and then brought it back to the center. Just He is leaving the deck on that. Yeah, he's starting, to go, he's starting to go forward a little bit, though. That's rather what you'd see on the return, maybe just a little quick rhythm-wise. but it would be Marat Safin. He does have that, he does have that backhand. Oh, look at this. Nice touch. Very, that's not easy to do either. Nice touch. All right. So, Forte and Hoffman. This is a lot of let cords here in the always point. important eighth game. Yep, one point to get even. There's yeah, another one. Yeah, there's a, two these, in a row. these guys are getting on the net now, finding some opportunities. It's always good you make the team serve for it if they're going to win a set. Put some pressure on them. Just a little deep. Just a skosh. <laughs> I know. Who uses those Just words? Just a skosh. Just a skosh outside. It's good first volley. Yep. Solid, smart. And they're going to get a little switch in here. Was a, that was a good opportunity there that he left it hanging up high. Yes. And you got to appreciate that Steve went after it because it was the right decision. Maybe just caught it a little bit late. Nice. Oh, 
awesome. Mm -hmm. Let's get moving down. Yep. This right here is where you almost decide to play no miss paddle that's right. if you're in the backcourt. And, and of course, I went ahead and perfect screwed cue. him up. No, that's, that's but, kind of the but, way you do I mean, it, though. You know, 5 3, 30 love, if yep. you can just like find you know a way. A single point can absolutely shift the momentum. But so it can also be your downfall. Three. First set, 6 3. Here are more Country Club. Well played from beautiful historic That's right. more Country Club in Highland Park. In that order. Illinois. It's beautiful first and historic We're going to take a break between sets here and uh, send you to our sponsors at Illinois Bone and & Joint. And we'll be back in 30 seconds. From the heart of Chicago up to the North Shore and stretching from the Northwest suburbs down to Kankakee. From urgent in-office care to virtual in-home visits, we're making orthopedic care available wherever and however you need it. Because while we're adapting our lives to keep each other safe, we know that new injuries will happen and old injuries will still linger. And IBJI is here to help. Illinois Bone and Joint Institute is the best choice for orthopedic care. Our walk-in ortho access clinics provide treatment by orthopedic specialists without a trip to the ER. With evening and weekend hours, we provide your family with excellent care when it matters most. Visit IBJI.com to find an ortho access immediate care clinic near you. Right here, where we belong. That's right. The start to a song. It's a beautiful, of set beautiful thing. Number two. No, I'll, it looks I'll good. It's back out when you get I out like there, it. and you can adjust it. You watch like the stream. Okay, I believe in you. That makes one of us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 15. 15 love. I think so. Well, now 15 it's 15 all. 15 all. I would think it'd be 15 all. Boom. I don't want to say, well, How? Could be we're going to, I think, we're going to go with we're, we're going to, this seems like it's going to somehow be a very quick game. It's not really the way that I like it, but uh, I understand how it could happen. I just wanted to play the theme forever. That's fine. I think you should. I think you just keep it on the loop. No, no, I'm just going to. All right. Set number two here at Exmoor Country Club. Exmoor against Michigan Shores. Yes. The Exmoor Z's against Michigan Shores Breeze. <laughs> Z's versus the Breeze. I'm sorry. Uh, nice dig. Yep. Well played. Oh, reset. Cal, a little view. I think he was just trying to capture more of that deuce angle when he was setting it up, to be perfectly honest. I'm going to call that 40 15, even though they started this set particularly I, I like, quickly. I like your I, f I feel like that's right. I like where you're going with that. Deep down in my in my uh, Rackets Pro soul, yes. if I was to have to guess. What a great backhand. It was. Good hands, too. It was a pretty good position there. Said No, it's a little... Nope, more. just deep. And I'm going to assume that that's the first game. I oh, my gosh. Was. I was correct. So Steve and Andy go up in the first one. This is cool. This is for Michigan Shores is a first lead. Let's see if they can build on this momentum. Sometimes it just takes a set to get under your belt to get warmed up. Let's hope for the best here. Not to be partial. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. There's some pace. There's some action. It. Yep. This is actually such a fun time of year to be able to play. When it like is this, you know, kind of like 45, 50 degrees, sure. because you can kind of play whatever style you like, you know. Sure. And you can you can still put enough spin on the ball where if you want to be hitting stuff hard and you know really trying to put all the junk in the sure. world on it, you can do that. And if you're more of a cold weather player, you can still hit the occasional That's a drop nice shot. Drive. Really good drive there. A strong dude. Didn't even turn his shoulders. That's called disguise on that one. or technique. I can't figure out which. Disguise slash technique. 
I like to disguise my technique, Sean, uh, so that it looks like I have disguising some. Disguising it for years. Yep. All right, so he went after, went to the well one more time. 15 all. I like it. It's the right decision. But no agua. So 15 all. Oh, look at this. He's going to get there. Not be as confrontational as I thought he was going to be with that, but... <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't put it in anybody's face. So no. you got to appreciate it. They must like each other. That's nice. That's good touch. Ooh, that is a smart shot. The do-nothing overhead down Did the middle. Did not come up for air. Also known as the mesmerizer, patent Sp pending. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of doing nothing, it did not come up for air either. Nice. Oh. Just a little deep. Wow. That is the ball that is so difficult to do less with because it's up high. Yes. And you feel like you should push it a little bit deeper to put some pressure on, and it's so easy to miss long. You got it. I'm thinking it was 30-15. I think so, too. Excuse me, 30-30 off. All. And now it's 40-30. That's correct. Or 30-40, maybe, because that, that was a fault. Look at the screen drive. Oh, he went after it. You know, not a bad idea, especially playing the score. You've got a break point. You may as well try a screen drive like that, especially. And we're going to call it deuce. Yep, that's point. exactly what I'm thinking it is. Perfect. Oh, might be cause of that. Ah, rat farts. Sometimes you, <laughs> sometimes, you <laughs> sometimes you try to steer the, not because of the rat farts, but because you just try to steer the. <laughs> Ooh, so close. Wow. Good swing. The serve in there. And this happens. Back to deuce. Back to deuce it is. Great lobs coming from that position. It's a good reset. Yep. I like it that George has started to shift over uh, to his left and take a few more forehand overheads. Yes. Because that, what he just did right there, that was more his job of cutting off the volley with his backhand. But now he's starting to hit a lot more overheads on his forehand side. Well, it's t hard to tell your dad what to do, you know? Yeah. I mean, dad, don't hit the high back. Don't hit the I'll, yeah, fine. Yeah. Go ahead and hit that back. Yeah, the last time I played tennis with my father, uh, I was telling him what to do, and I might have pushed him out of the way, and then he had to have a hip replacement. So... <laughs> Uh, that's a true story, actually. <laughs> well, you know last what? time I my dad played I tennis don't. was with me against other people, and then he was wow. like, I need to have surgery. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, deuce. We are back again. to deuce. Nice touch on the drive. If you can get that little forehand push going on the return where you just kind of dip the ball low, it is, can be a nightmare. You no just have question. to stay so focused on the volley. No, no question. To come up with that shot. Nice dig. And I'm just telling you, in colder weather, that ball's going to dip more. Indeed. Or it just isn't going to come up. It gets even more, I mean, it, it becomes even more of a nightmare when it gets cold because if you don't hit it, if you don't hit the first volley perfectly off the center of your paddle, it will just die before it even gets to the Exactly. Because it doesn't have anything on it to begin with, and then it's low. It's a, it's a tough shot. Great drive. I think we're back to deuce again. This here is. Cal. It okay. is a oh, war. you got it. You got it. The oh, second. The second game. It's a nice lob. The always important second game. Wow. There's that right hip drive you were talking about. Mm hmm Maybe he needs a replacement now too, Matt. You never know. Just now that it's. Trying to get the one I'd want to join back in there somehow. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Water I need a new folly. hip. Yeah. Are we just passing out new hips? Because I'll yeah. take one. <laughs> oh, I like the thought. It was maybe a little late on the decision, but he yep. did have him off the net. Yep. He shifted early. Maybe just a little casual with the shot, but... So this is an interesting dynamic here in the world of paddle where we're on, like, deuce number seven. And we forget sometimes that playing to two different returners or sides of the court is two different strategies. Exactly. And so you're winning every point on one side, and you're losing every point on the other. 
and so you're locked in this like never-ending deuce battle and it's really hard to pull yourself out of it and be like what do we need to do differently against you know one player versus the other sure and sometimes it just has a tendency especially if you're winning mostly on the ad side you're kind of set up generally speaking most of the time with uh, your f your form or your uh, formation to go to the ad side. Yeah, yeah. As as well, you should be running kind of oh, the backhand attack. It. That is a bummer of a let cord right there. And it'll take us to deuce number ninety six. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Well, you know, that's kind of like our sensor button right there. <laughs> somebody somebody mooned somebody and they hit the yeah, there you go. Sorry guys. We're not it's putting fine. that over there. We've got we've got scruples. Contrary to popular belief. That's going oh Yeah, it's not that's going. tough. That that's is, not an easy that shot is a tough either. Spot right there. Yeah. All right, one more add okay. here. Okay. Add in for Team Lombropolis. Oh. Isn't you, that just always the way it you goes? You swear they're doing it on purpose. We have been grinding this game away for it's 91 like, minutes. It's like Les Miserables. <laughs> One day more. He's there. I like it that Bill's starting to get the roller going as well. Oh, yeah. Two. One. It's a nice scramble here. Yeah. Smart. That is a really good direction change there. Very good. As a matter of fact, it's a direction change after a couple of shots, Coach Matt. That's the other thing. It wasn't just, hey, one to one corner, one to the other corner. And I think they just... Nope. ...were able to finally win the game. Yeah, that was it. So one to one we're now bamboo here shoots. in the second set. In the chat, you got to appreciate Offman complimenting Offman. <laughs> hey, you know what? You gotta have a fan club. It's important, especially if they're related to you. Exactly. I think that's a big key. That's a great really approach good, good, great approach shot. He got it back. There. Ooh, and they bounced off the key. Impressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course. That's incredible, actually, because that's almost impossible to do. Those cameras are so close great to the body. corner. The amount of flex that you have to put into the screen that's in true. order to, <laughs> in order that. to make that yeah, happen amazing. is amazing. Nice. Nice dig. Oh, the off-speed drive. And it works. What a nightmare. I hate it when that happens. Love. Ooh, nice pick. Thirty love. Fifteen. Oh, that's okay. It's all coming together. All right, so that's another game there. Two one. And a fresh one coming. You want a view of that, Cal? Or are you okay? Why don't I give you a view of it? You want to watch the stream? Okay. I got you there in a changeover. So Cal's in good shape to fix that camera that somehow someone was able to bump into. All right, so one serving two here. There we go. Look at Cal just doing his job. 
It is a hazard in the world of battle. You can have people bump into screens and in bounce it around time. enough where it causes a problem. By the way, nothing's wrong with your uh, your audio, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's just Sean Ulbrich telling you everything he knows about <laughs> the world of racket sports. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. That is, oh, good decision there from George to play that shot. Hey, Cal, well We're done, good. brother. Oh my goodness, I am amazed with you. Uh, 15 love here. Little deep, 15 all. Nice. Oh, good hands. Oh, and George able to come up with that little shovel back after the let cord. Probably just bad luck there, honestly, that you transition on a ball that happens to hit the let cord and give somebody extra time to read it. Nice, really good. That's the value of the drop shot right there. It's not that somebody can't touch the ball, it's that it's really difficult to do something with it once they get there. That's a really nice attack overhead as well. Backing up off the net. Ooh, good transition drive. Smart. When they were switching sides, Bill came up with it, but it's the way it goes. Nice, great cutter there. Sensing that somebody's a little bit close and making it happen. All right, good game there. Two all is our score. These guys are cruising now. They're not taking a lot of time between points. Smart, good dig. Yep. Good dig. That's a really good shot down the middle. Always difficult when both players are anticipating the corner attack and they take that step away from the center to try to defend. If you can put that ball down the middle low, it tends to work pretty well. Trying to manufacture something on that one a little bit. Uh, 30 love, I think. Cal. Yep. Oh, that would have been so sneaky. He saw the shift and maybe tried to push it a little bit too aggressively to the open court. A little, little tough to do in that particular situation. Good hands here. Yep, we're going to bail out. They're going to go right back into the reset overhead, which is smart. Oh, the backhand flipper. Straight off the tennis court with that one. That's a tough transition. All right, we're gonna do a changeover here. It is gonna be 3-2. Michigan Shores is taking the lead here in the second set. And I think Steve and Andy are playing a little bit better with a little more uh, a little more speed. I think they like less time between points. It seems like maybe their natural tendency is to play a little quicker. And it has benefited them thus far. That's a tough one. Uh, love 15. <laughs> Cal has a microphone, which is a bad sign for the stream. You say it was 15 uh, Yes. I really like the way that Andy is creeping into the court here as he's hitting drives. He's really putting a lot of pressure on. That's a really good shot there from Steve to find that high forehand. Quick rotation, 15 all. A lot of style there too, Coach Matt. Agreed. Sean, I gotta tell you, that was an impressive transition. 
sometimes, you know, you have to... Oh, I think that was good. Good lob. Just a little miscommunication there. I think as the word is that ball. incompetence. 15.30. <laughs> no, no big deal. Sometimes you got to swap out equipment. I understand. That's why we have redundancy after redundancy. That's right. Well, that's it. It's really just the two layers, and then we just shut everything down. But, <laughs> but still, redundancy nonetheless. You know, Sean, I believe I said at the beginning of this that the boom mic would come out. <laughs> I did. And I'm now using Sean's broken <laughs> microphone and holding it in two hands. I gotta tell you that that's one of my biggest, oh, nice try. That's one of my biggest pet peeves in the world of podcast right now is when somebody's holding like an SM7B <laughs> up to their face <laughs> like it's a handheld mic. And I'm just like, what are you doing? Like that is, you can't be doing that. We're just, just pay for a you boom can't. arm. Sit down and pay <laughs> for a boom Boomers. Three four to one no wonder. <laughs> Here we go. Smart Ollie. Didn't it didn't do anything with it, just pushed it back, kept it low. Stay low, swing low. We're also seeing a lot more direction change from Michigan Shores here in the second set. Like, they are really moving the ball around an awful lot, uh, more so than they did in the first set for sure. Which is not a bad idea. No, I mean, they're, still, they're yeah. still making good decisions and hitting the reset overhead as needed, but, like, this is a good example, actually, this point right here, is that, like, so far, you know, they both the uh, both, uh, – Lambropolis have hit an equal number of shots, right? And so, yeah, and so they're starting to they're starting to find some success and kind of spreading them from corner to corner, maybe maybe taking their rhythm out of it a little Absolutely. bit when they're not letting them hit a few shots in a row. Yes. I mean, there is classic paddle strategy to pick on one player on a regular basis. Generally, it would be the ad court. Mm -hmm. But there is, you're absolutely right, Coach Matt, there is a, a an art form and, a, and, a, and sometimes a, a really good strategy, or it's a real good strategy to go ahead and Rats. swing the ball around. Anything that's going to disturb the rhythm of your opponent. So much of the game is about trying to just make people feel uncomfortable. Exactly. And if you, if you find that, like, you know, just isolating a target or hitting the same shot over and over is actually making somebody feel more confident, you know, if they're, if they're finding their rhythm, yes. so you do want to try to find ways to fight against that as much as possible. So I think that was game. Yes. I think here. 4-2. Four, 4-2. Two, four, two four serving. And uh, A two-serving four, I'm going to say. I think it's. So reasserting themselves the Bills turn to in serve, a big way. If I'm not incorrect. The Michigan Shores breeze. Oh, yeah, I think someone needs to take a picture of this. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. It's just uh, Cal is. Um, uh, <laughs> we had a boom issue, and what that basically means is it's a technical issue, and the boom basically came off of the base, which is funny. So I'm now taking a picture of Cal. I'll be able to post it later for those of you who just can't get enough of Cal Noble. You'll be able to well, take it's a, a short list. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so all right, so four two. Michigan Shores, for and Offman. Once again, making a big statement after losing that first set 6-3. And now are receiving it. That go in, I couldn't even tell there, Cal. I, I, I think that was a Okay. Yeah, you know, it is. That was a foul. It is significantly easier to keep score oh, when a fault. you can physically see the call. Yeah, that's right. Good leave there. So we're talking 15 all, I believe. Well, you certainly have. It was a leaf on the court. You know what? Anything to maintain concentration, and then he missed his serve. Well, I assume it's also a tripping hazard. It can be, especially when it gets wet out there. Right. So 1530. But they're driving the ball like they got a plane to catch here. A little wide. 
Now 30 all. This is kind of an important game for two. If the Lambropolises can pull within one game, the dynamic of the match changes a little bit. On the other hand, if they lose, that was a great move. Oh, what a jump. Yeah, that was a great move. You'd know about that, Sean. They called you uh, Pete Sampras Jr. in college. <laughs> Just Pete. <laughs> no Sampras. All right. So... What I missed. 30, 40. Well, and then there was just a, uh, I, I think that's game. It is game. And it is 5-2. 5-2 Michigan Shores, again, asserting themselves yep. in the second set. A little quicker, Kudos. a little quicker pacing-wise of the second set. And like I mentioned before, I just think you're going to... I think, I think Steve and Andy just kind of like to play at that slightly quicker pace. And it seems like it's uh, it's helping them make better decisions and kind of catch their rhythm a little bit. Maybe that's why uh, one of the, looks like one of the Lambropolises has uh, absconded here. Do get a certain amount of time between points. Now I'm concerned that we screwed the score up and that was a transition in sets. Oh, boy. That definitely. God, that's what happens when you let Sean keep score. <laughs> I blame myself for the boom mic problem here. Let's see if we can catch a score. The worst case scenario is we'll send Cal out. You think it was 6 2? Are they switching sides? Do they switch sides on sure that looks one? Or like are they they're staying? going to. Ah. Nobody asked for another ball, would be another uh, clue on this thing. First set. Okay, there you so go. There, we go. there so it is. Six Thank two. God for the shotgun, Mike. That was it. You wanna, you wanna now, later it? when we go back and watch the video, I'm going to figure out if we're wrong or they're wrong. They're <laughs> <laughs> wrong. Uh, okay, fine. I'm pretty sure there was one game where, yeah, it went on for way too well, long. Well, anyway, we're still here at uh, Exmoor Country Club trying to figure it out. Uh, but Gosh, we'll get I there. love Exmoor Country Club. You know why? It's because of Mike Raleigh. That's true. That's that's the bottom line. You know what else Excellent. is great Country about Club him? Club is a great spot because that of some Mike people Raleigh. patronize the Illinois Bone and Joint Institute. That's also a, an important element. You know what? Let's hear a little bit from Illinois Bone and Joint while we have a minute. From the heart of Chicago up to the North Shore and stretching from the Northwest suburbs down to Kankakee, from urgent in-office care to virtual in-home visits. We're making orthopedic care available wherever and however you need it. Because while we're adapting our lives to keep each other safe, we know that new injuries will happen and old injuries will still linger. And IBJI is here to help. All right, we're going to go third set here. We're going to break out a fresh ball. They're going to warm up that new ball, which is important when it's been inside and it's 48 degrees outside. But you got to get used to it because it's not going to behave the same. All right, if you had to put your family home on this, who's winning? Oh, <laughs> this is a tough one, but I, I got to give it to uh, Bill and George Lombropoulos just because I think that they've spent so much time on the court together that they're, you know, going to be well versed in finding ways to win. You're familiar with old Mo, right? Mo Morrison? No, momentum. momentum. Oh, oh, and that's got Joe, yeah. Joe Mentum. <laughs> oh, Joe Mentum, yeah. No, that's the yes. movie by Christopher Nolan. <laughs> uh, you'd have to say that. Uh, what a great flick. The 40 years got the. Uh, I mean, that guy. Is so let just me get this straight. Uh, he makes a movie reference, uh, and he's fine, and I do it, and I, <laughs> and I get chastised for it. <laughs> Could you chill with the movie references, please? <laughs> that's fine. Well, anyway, so maybe it's just w about which movie you reference. That's true. Maybe that's yeah. maybe yeah. that's where it is. Yeah, you're right. Too much maybe, cabaret. Maybe we should keep it PG. <laughs> yeah, it's fine if you want to reference Fantasia. But <laughs> the Apple Dumpling Gang would be. I forgot good. before we got on the air, Sean. You were talking about your favorite Tom Cruise movie, something with a mask and <laughs> Stanley Kubrick. <laughs> no, that was. Oh, uh, uh, that's every movie that oh. he does actually. Yes. So. Uh, Phantom of the Opera. It's good. It, you know what? I tell you That's what. It. It's it's gonna be. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it's. And I'm not saying we need to be here for a while, 
But I'm just talking about for both both teams because this the, both sets went pretty quickly. If I'm not you know, if I'm not mistaken, about yeah. 40 minutes. Yeah, yeah. they 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 maybe take their time a little bit more. Maybe some more extended points. That'll be a little more of a battle, Coach Matt. Don't mm -hmm. you think? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, and it's smart of these guys to take the legitimate break in between the second and sure. third set and not rush it. Just you know, just to really feel like you have a neutral starting position. Exactly. That was a great long return, by the wise, way, yeah. from uh, George. Considering yep, it's a, that's a new ball shots. they're playing with, and he still was able to loop it over the net player's head. I love third set paddle. You bet. As long as it's only an hour and 20 minutes into the match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a four-hour mark. It depends on the situation. If it's a third set starting after exactly. you know the first two sets were an hour and 41 minutes each, then I understand. That's, That's nice another lob. good lob yep. to force the, just enough out of position. Anytime you have to jump off the deck as you're going backwards, it's going to be a tough, tough time to yeah, convert a probably shot. Probably better off letting it go. Pick more communication here. You know, it's a little weird to say out loud, but uh, with Bill and George, they're really doing a good job putting. Steve and Andy in trouble when they're refusing to let the ball go to the screen. It's, yes. like it's like they're taking away a little bit of reaction time, and and Steve and Andy look really comfortable when they're forced to, you know, when they have the time to set up and play balls off the screen. Almost like well, a lot of tennis players like to do that, Coach, just not let it go to the screen on a regular basis. But <laughs> you're absolutely right. Take That's my true. word for it. Yeah. That's true. That's absolutely right. The other thing is um, on uh, in, in warmer weather, it's much tougher. You're probably better off let it go to the screen in warmer weather because the ball is going to be pretty lively off the screen. So you're absolutely right. It does take time away. And if that is a strategy they are employing, it seems to be working. But uh, yeah, four it's, it's, and, uh, it's maybe and not an all-the-time strategy, no. but every once in a while, I mean, an offensive lob is a is it has to be played off the deck, right? If yep. you're going to take a lob and turn it into offense, you need to remove the reaction time. Yep. I think it's really difficult to take a ball off the screen and hands. turn it into an offensive lob just because they have more time and it Absolutely. covers more distance. It's a little bit, a little bit tricky. That was really good hands playing off. Oh wow. Oh. Getting that return to dip. This is another break point, but they've already gone through a couple of them and have been able to save them. So let's see what Fortier and often can come up with here, facing one more. That's a good nice decision touch. there from Bill. Yeah. Thinking about the drive, but realized that he was turned around enough where it shouldn't, he shouldn't play, play that shot maybe. Yeah, and there is that's the break. tough. That's that when you swing that ball into the deuce corner with pace, and you're not really sure what you're going to get. Even an average lob can turn into a problem like that. Absolutely. Where you know, then you're shifted and you're out of position, and you feel like you should, you know, you're maybe you're not 100 percent on what the next ball is that's showing up. Exactly. Which is another, well, I wouldn't say disadvantage, but I guess depending on the level of uh, pattern you're playing. But if you're going to swing the ball, you've got to be able to adjust and shift. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest one is that there's really not a penalty for hitting the ball to the deuce side if you're prepared and you're shifting as a team. Exactly. But as soon as you do it without an actual reason or a plan, just because you're like, I want that guy to hit the ball, then you can be in trouble. Exactly. I think Forrest Gump has a quote about that. Not shifting? Uh, no, a lob is like a box of chocolate. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that actually was about platform tennis, and they just adjusted for the screenplay. Once again, a movie reference. I, 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 <laughs> I just feel like I, I'm being discriminated against. Well, I mean, if you want to continue to quote Clockwork Orange, then uh, it's just yeah, really just depends on McClintic. I'm depends good. on the content. <laughs> yeah, I go, I go John Wayne. So. Uh, <laughs> 
lot of spanking. Really, now. anything with Malcolm McDowell is, you know, pretty terrifying <laughs> when you think about it. It's true. He's a great actor, but gosh, he's scary. Yeah, scary good. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I think this is about as good a time as any. Sean, I'm going to have to un-RSVP to your viewing of Cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> 1 a.m. is a little late for me. That's a great movie. What a what a great movie. Although that does fall like squarely dead center is there? No, of no how all uh, 80s Tom Cruise films worked. Yes. Right? Where you, you know, where he, he's very talented, but he's cocky and he gets yes. himself in trouble. And then there's an older mentor that does it better and he learns a life lesson. And then he moves on uh, and fixes his relationship and right. everything's fine. After the older mentor yes. Uh, yes. gets killed. It was uh, Cocktail, it was uh, Top Gun. Yes. It was uh, the color of money. Yeah, it oh, was of course, Rain Paul Man. Man. Uh, Rain Man. That nobody, was uh, yeah. Nobody died there, but that's not the point. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be a death. No, no. it's not a Disney movie. No. It's not like death is a requirement. But you know what? Uh, I think uh, what died was uh, Raymond's underwear. So anyway, because <laughs> he didn't get underwear at <laughs> because of the toothpicks. Walmart anymore. So Kmart. Uh, sit down. It's in there. Well, that was it. Tough overhead. I can't believe he pulled that one out. Steve has gotten a lot more aggressive with his movement as the match has gone on. You're right. And it's really, it's really helped him out. They're hitting higher quality shots. He, he's just, he's been jumping on that ball a little bit and moving out of the corner a little bit more comfortably, and it's turned into a lot less offense. Yep. Good he has here. good height on the lob. Oh, it's another oh, one. I a good opportunity, but maybe a little bit too much action on the ball, Especially too much a whole movement. Point. Yeah, you got to make sure you get a shot at that. Drive. Isn't that so difficult though? You get your momentum going, and you feel like you also have to swing hard at the shot, and it's the opposite. Like yep. if you're moving that fast, all you have to do is just barely touch the ball. See, I think they just immediately went into a new game. There. I think they did too. There was no break. Yeah. I'm going to assume no that you're dirt. correct. They went right yeah. into the entry. Yeah, now, uh, that, serving. that was real fast. Oh, really good overhead there. This little under Landing it there. deep and putting enough uh, action on the ball to get it to just stay low out of the screen. So much Great shot to from knock Andy. it off, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> right. That's because of his name. A smart it's return, by the name. way. Kind of tough. Just pushed it yeah, a little bit a deep. Little bit. A nice arc on it, though, for a reset. Just a little deep. Oh, it's such Colder a nightmare. Day, that's it's such a nightmare in. in the world of paddle when you feel like the ball is coming directly to you and you decide you're not going to take a step. And then because you didn't actually set yourself up, you push a ball long. Yeah, that is. Because you're just all arm instead of using your whole body to hit the shot. Welcome so to my world. Dude. The reset overhead requires just as much physical effort as other shots. Just because you're hitting it that softer, a great, great volley, yeah, this. good hands. Working. Oh, that's oh a smart yeah, shot. good dodge right there by Bill. Ah, oh, good point. That's a tough one. I know that George felt like he had the opportunity there, but I don't think that Steve and Andy were particularly out of position. But Bill was still recovering from the last shot. So if they make that volley, nothing good happens anyway. Good drive, really good, good hands. Really good first volley to come up with there. Oh, and we're playing a let from the ball coming from court number I seen one. Haven't happen in a while. Come on, guys, keep it to yourself. <laughs> yep. Keep it at good. Humor. All right, so we're gonna replay that one here at 40 Love. At least it wasn't that. Hold point or a great point there. And I think he was just giving the best method to eat souffle, which yes, I believe is I don't to fork yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I don't think. Yeah. It wasn't what you might think it would have been there. <laughs> We're going to start putting 18 plus on the streams uh, just in case. Or we just move to the cooking channel. That's fine, too. That's fine. We could absolutely, we could absolutely get away with that. Reset. I've got a re great recipe for a charcuterie board I can share with everyone. <laughs> and on the board. All right, there it is. So 2-1. Nope. I thought it was. Apparently not. Still serving. Still Sweden. 
And uh, forty thirty would be my guess. I would think it's at yeah, it's gotta be at end. Yeah. Although they did replay one of those points. I wonder if we jumped ahead. Nice, finding the corner. Maybe they gave themselves a point penalty because of that profanity. That's got to be good. <laughs> Perhaps. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably what it was. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to let that fly. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and give you the point. Okay, there it is. Well, So two serving one here for Exmoor. No harm done there, by the way, with the profanity. So that's uh, part of the game. Two, one, exactly. I always thought that would be a great name for a, an ale profanity. Uh, but anyway. That'd make a good uh, Chicago-based IPA. Wouldn't it? Graffiti on the logo. Profanity. Yeah, right there. But just a bunch of sy symbols, you know. Profanity and graffiti would, you know, be a, a good one-two punch. One's a double IPA, know. one's an ale. Because if I was a sales rep, I don't know how I'd induce myself. I wonder if it'll be as good as a zombie unicorn. <laughs> All right, 2-1. Lembropolis is to serve here. George with a nice wide delivery. Good hands. And again, that was <laughs> great. a little oh, wide. Oh, nice try. Not going that was a smart close, though. Again, as I thought. Andy continuing to improve his core position, so he kept driving the ball, which is what you're supposed to do. A little bit more pressure nice each serve. time. 15 all. Backhand mm. volley there. It's not very often you get to be that aggressive with a backhand volley, no. but good for you. Clipped a line. He's just going to do it again. <laughs> He's just going to do it again. He'll just, just do it more. He's just going to. Stands. Good position. You know, sometimes when you're playing somebody who comes up with a big-time shot, that's the best possible thing that could happen. Yes. Right? You know, like somebody's on the run, and they flick a ball down the line while everyone's in transition. And you're like, well, hey, good for you. Now you're going to think you can do that every time. Exactly. It's going to be worth seven more errors before they decide to stop trying it. You know, that's a, that's a great point, Coach. Uh, so, believe it or not, I know I don't look all that athletic, and pretty much I'm not. But the point is, I did play... Uh, <laughs> basketball when I was in high school and at one point uh, I would let somebody block my shot because my head fake was pretty good so after a while we just let him block it into the stands and then I would get maybe two or three easy buckets out of it because right. they would leave their feet right so it's kind of like almost baiting him yep yeah but you still got blocked <laughs> <laughs> Well, you go home. You go home and dream about nerd. that, right? You go home and dream about that. We won the game, so it doesn't matter. It's all fine. Oh, oh I, I actually really like that so play. I. If Tired. if Bill steps back early, yes. yeah, yeah, right, with yeah. the intention, full intention of being like, I'm gonna let this Cutter. ball bounce, yes. and I'm gonna do something extra with it. Yeah. But it looked like maybe he made the decision just a, a hair too late. It was almost like that's either a big overhead or a cutter on the yep. step back. Yeah. Smart transition here. Let's we'll see how it goes here. It's a good I really like the, the little uh, uh -oh. backhand roller. Maybe one too many. Yeah, exactly. And we are tied up, if I'm not mistaken. No, no, no. Are we? Yeah. 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 We are tied up at two. It's just the war we were looking for here in the third set at yep. the Exmoor Country Club. Little miscommunication there. Another really good offensive lob there from Exmoor, taking the ball early and throwing the throwing the lob up. A competitive Series 6 matchup between Michigan Shores and Exmoor Country Club. All right, so that shot is a really good one and is underutilized in the world of paddle right now. So it was just on Steve it. took that that like roller and he hit it like it was a reset overhead, but he put enough pace on it where it forced George to spin around in the backcourt, and then he was like chasing the ball down the side screen. That one does not get played enough because it really pulls teams out of position. Sure. As long as you shift with it, you're okay. If you're able to hit it deep with some pace on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But sure. but it was uh, that was a really good shot. It's a tough ball to try to pull back in. 
Gotta respect him for trying that kind of stuff. That's a tough one, yeah. yeah. Same thing with the more aggressive your movement, the less aggressive you want your swing to actually be. Sure. So if you feel like you're popping off the deck to put yourself in position, then you're better off just, just going placement. Just a long with that lob. Not a bad idea, though. Placement over power, Cal Ripken Jr. Yeah. Great hands. That's another good overhead there. Wow. Really good screen drive. Yeah. Football. Yeah. I like the idea oh, though. Oh, that's such a good play. Yeah. It didn't. It didn't turn out for him, but he read it early and he was in a good spot. He got to hit his volley from above the net. That's too bad that we it. Are uh, on serve. That it collapsed, but. In the third. Suddenly, Susan, we're playing an intense third set here. 6-3 in the first for Exmoor, 6-2 in the second for Michigan Shores. The breeze. Yeah, the breeze. I'm getting... Sean, maybe uh, to it's end this one off. Yeah, you're going to have to like kind of do the Kenny Loggins like radio DJ type <laughs> deal. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to figure this whole thing out. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look at traffic and weather on the nines. Lots of rubbernecking. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That is just a killer after that last game to have the first serve be a let court dribbler. I just want to give a shout out to Hoffman. He's got another fan in the chat telling him to get him. One of many. He's telling him to get him, Hoffman. Hoffman has uh, two fans in the chat, which is one more than anyone else has ever had. That's so true. You got to appreciate that. I don't know how you got past the screener. You only get <laughs> one at a time. Wait a minute. You're allowed to have friends? <laughs> That's a nice What do you read the moment. terms and conditions before you Another go to bed, Sean? <laughs> I thought your nightly routine was Nancy Drew. <laughs> <laughs> well, or, you know. My wife's name's Lourdes. The Boxcar Mysteries. Oh. You, you, you. The classics. Nice dig. I feel like we should do the, uh, we should make like an edit of like the Wii Sports nice shot. Oh, that, that is dig. such oh. a tough overhead. Smart, though. Yeah, and you know what? It was actually a great shot, and ultimately what happened there was Steve knew that he was going to have to chase it down, and so he was trying to let it cross exactly. his body as close as possible, and then it Does and then it caught him, but he was just like, oh, I'm going to have to move He's so there. quickly. Oh, that's that's what makes move. that such a great overhead, that like hard, deep overhead that goes right at somebody's body where they have to dodge and chase. Absolutely. That is the risk. I don't want to gloss over that last uh, poach and... Uh, and blitz by Offman. That was a really effective shot. Great return. Yeah, a little deep, little deep on the first volley. Still at a temperature here where we're not playing true paddle weather yet, so exactly. a really heavy drive that drops is going to be tough to control. I'm thinking 30 all, aren't we? With the volley. I think so too, yep. You, you, you. To, your nice. point, to your point, Coach, the third, third set paddle, a lot more co communication going on. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the way it should be, you know. I mean, it, it would be it, it would be disconcerting if these players hadn't used any of the, you know, intelligence they'd gathered on their opponents to make some kind of adjustment. Waterfall is what it get. Yeah, really good spin move. This is an awesome point. A little more pace on it. Action on it. You are starting to see both teams really lock in their targets, too. Like, we're yep. seeing some missed volleys, but we're seeing a lot less missed overheads than we did in the first couple sets, where it's just, you know, make people play. Nice dig. Good switch. Yep, smart. Good switch back. It's going to be there. Nice. Good offensive lob. We're in transition. This might be the point of the match. This is a good one. We're in it. Oh, great drive, good volley. Oh. Oh, he's there. He's there. Yep, back to your corners and slow it down. Such a smart shot. Oh, oh that's such a smart play. You know that your team is in trouble and you could try to do something extra with your overhead, but you hit the reset instead to just be like, you know what? We're going to we're going to stay in it. Joe Mentum Morrison that's really going good. Here. With after that, uh, I think I just 30, decided to combine I think the two. thirty forty here. Cal. It is, and I'm just thinking right there that can actually be a backbreaker. You go through a point like that and win it. 
Either you're too tired to play again like <sighs> that, maybe. You know, just, just hit so many shots. Wide. Or it uh, actually can turn the, the tide in a match. So we're back to Deuce. Yep. That's a good lob. Nice pickup. It's going to work. No. No, a little long. Great shot. A little long on the, the, the half volley. That's one where you do want it to be a little colder, where that's a makeable shot that exactly. stays in the court when it's not as warm. The good rip. Good first volley. Yeah. No way. Look at these guys. They're putting on a clinic. Making it work. That's a tough one to leave hanging in that position. That was a great yep. waterfall. Yep. Especially the right time for it, too. Yeah. You're making... You know, in that situation, you're making Steve really work hard, no and he's trying to get back in position, and so you are kind of you know, like trying to trying to bait a little bit. No the, question. Maybe. If he had let that go, that would have been a problem yeah. anyway. Yep. Good Great little return, return there. Yep. Good Got little a return from Andy. Here to go up for two. Yeah, this is a big one. This is a high level of focus here. First of yep. all, smart, making him play. Little Back wide, teams. that's going to be a game there. Really tough, really tough there break. Is. So 4-2. Nice. Nice Up a break yep. here in the third is yep. Fortier and Hoffman for Michigan Shores. And a hush goes over the crowd. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. So of much what for could home happen. court advantage, right, Coach? I mean, <laughs> what happened there? Yeah. Once again, the definition of home court advantage is when one team has the opportunity to play more on a specific facility or set of courts that allows them to feel more comfortable or confident in the execution of their game plan. That's a good leave. Playing some smart paddle here. 15 love, Michigan Shores. Indeed. The breeze is blowing. <laughs> In a sense, yeah. Free trade. Absolutely. We just, we just got done saying that. Missed the first. We got the fault there, so it is 15 love. 15 all, I should say. Nice backhand. Oh. Oh, that's a nice spot Followed there. Followed it up with a forehand. I don't think anybody drive. thought that the uh, forehand push drive was going to go to the outside no. edge of the court. I thought it looked like both guys were Stylish. leading. Stylish. To the middle. That's a little deep on the uh -oh. serve. And just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, 1540. This is tough, too, here for Andy because he definitely has decided to go with two very different styles of serve between the deuce and the ad side. Sure. And sometimes it's a little bit more damaging than it's worth ryth rhythm wise. Sure. You know, where like he's going for a really big kicker on the deuce side. I'm sorry, a really big kicker on the ad side, and he's missed a couple, and then he's just kind of pushing the ball in on the deuce side. And so he's kind of 50 50 on the percentage for this game, which can be tough. Great hands. Smart. That's where Andy's going to help out. That's, yeah, that's another one where. You, you sense the opportunity. A good lob really pushed Steve off the net. Sure. And George was trying to capitalize, but maybe maybe it doesn't have to be that good. Good hands. Nice. He took that off the oh, deck, yeah. which is not he easy. He made it work. Do. And that's just a little wide. Of course, even if he makes that shot, he kind of makes it tough on his partner mm -hmm. if they swing it. So you might as well take it to the screen because you may give your partner a break on the next shot. That's one thing about paddle. It's not about oh, that first shot. Great, great shot. There. Stayed down. Buried. Yep. So uh, a hold point here to go up 5-2 for Michigan Shores. He's playing all the important points well here. And they do it. Made it work. That's going to be a little switcheroo. All right, so 5-2 Michigan Shores. Mounting a, 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 a commanding comeback here after going down 6-3 in the first. Kudos. Let's see if they can close it out here, though. That is the uh, the bottom line. 
uh, technically the bottom line, I think, would be the lowest line on the court <laughs> by elevation. Thanks, Cal. You're welcome. Oh, I think, is, is Matt going to go fix the camera? Yeah, he has to. It's kind of a moral imperative right now. We're either that or it's just like an avant-garde paddle. Well, you know, I was going to, but I didn't want to distract them during their, their third set. So love 15. Not the way you'd want to start. Nope. A game for the set, for the no, match. Exactly. Want to make them serve for it. As they can. say in cricket, game, set, match. Is that what they say? I think so. I wouldn't know. Oh, I'm boy. not from Scotland. It's, uh, <laughs> or India for that matter. <laughs> Uh, or Australia. There's a their cricket's played all over the world. Love 30. I don't think they play it in Scotland. Maybe they do. Yeah, they do actually. They like it in the UK, but I think it's an Australian thing. It, By the way, that's not a, uh, an earthquake. That's uh, Coach, that's Coach fixing the camera because we can't have all of this pick up. So play conservatively on this match point. For Michigan Shores. Nice. There we go. Digging their way back. 1540. Still match point for Michigan Shores. Four tier and Hoffman. Let's say 48, but I don't know if that's correct. Nice pickup. And that is it. And we have. Game set match to use your uh, the cricket phrase. Yeah, why not the analogy there? Well, anyway, um, hotly contested, but in the end, Michigan Shore is a little too strong at this point. So we just want to thank everyone for tuning in. Absolutely. Are we gonna are we going to another match here? Or is that I, it for everybody? I think we're close enough to the two hours. Are we? I, it, what a shame. I was just getting warmed up. Uh, where, where is Coach Matt? He's still out there fixing he's, the camera. No, he's, you know he's you, right behind you, Sean. All right, fabulous. It looks much better. <laughs> yeah, it looks – you killed it. <laughs> it really doesn't – it's okay. Well, anyway, uh, Coach Matt, just want to thank you for uh, – Sean, for his mic's muted, audio guy. I, I didn't want to be heard anyway. It's fine. It's okay. It's better. All right, you guys. Well, thanks for joining us here for this uh, three-setter. Yeah. And uh, Michigan Shores. This is a good one. Good battle. Down in the tides. Yeah. Michigan Shores. That's kind of my, my best in. analogy, my best, um, uh, I guess, comparison. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Kind of We're going to be live next week on Thursday from Medina. Uh, we're going to do a little Southwest League match uh, next week on Thursday night, Medina Southwest Series 9. And that's going to lead into the weekend in which we are going to bring you the Medina Cup, um, which is an APTA tour event that was formerly the I-355 that uh, we That's streamed. what they call it now? Yeah, for the first time last year. So got it. we're looking forward to that. we got a good uh, match next week and then a nice weekend of really high-level paddle coming at you here. No from the question CPTC. about that. So we are looking forward to it, and we will see uh, you guys next week. Thanks, Absolutely. Sean. Thank, thank you, thanks, Coach Cal. Matt. Thanks, Cal. For thanks for nothing. <laughs>